When I first saw this room, I thought it had really good bones, but that was about it. It was completely white, very stark. It didn't have any character at all. There was mismatched furniture. Everything felt like it was kind of the last thought in this whole house, and that sometimes happens in a principal bedroom. It's actually quite small. It's only about 10 by 15. They needed a ton more storage, and it really needed an update and some life and some fun. But the only catch was that I had to work with a really tight budget. And here it is. I am so thrilled with the way that this room turned out. Now I have to be honest with you, the homeowners are actually really good friends of mine. And so they said, take this room, do whatever you think is going to make it amazing. And so I did, but it was a little bit scary. The tricky part of this was actually balancing the masculine and the feminine because they both really wanted to love it. So for the feminine part of this room, I was completely drawn to turquoise. My good friend Tracy, she feels like a blue turquoise kind of person. So that was actually my jumping off point. Then I wanted to balance it with Luke and I wanted him to feel like it was still masculine enough for him. And that's where the navy came in. And I actually think that navy is the new black. It's a very sophisticated color for any room. You can use it in a dining room, a bedroom, entryway, and it's just got this beautiful kind of suede, cozy feel to it. Like I said, this was a very tight budget and I wanted to have huge, huge wow factor. So normally I would invest in a wallpaper for a feature wall like this, but didn't have the money. So this is a great alternative. It's actually a stencil and you kind of do it like a hand printed, hand blocked feel. It's great because it's paint. So if you get sick of it, you can just paint over it and it's very, very reasonably priced. I actually tried to convince my clients, well my friends, to kind of downsize their bed, but people are in love with their bed. So there was no getting around the fact that we were going to live with this king size bed. So the obvious choice was then to make it the feature of the room, which we did. And what we did on the bed is a budget friendly part. And a great way to do this is you can go big box shopping for your duvets and your sheets and your pillowcases. And there is a lot of great stuff out there. This is from Ikea and it's a beautiful linen mix. It's gorgeous. And then you can have some fun with layering it. So you can look for those cushions that just add that little curated feel or something that feels very unique to you. And then you can change them up with the seasons or if you just want a different color. As any girl will tell you, there is never enough storage in a bedroom and Tracy was no different. So I really wanted to maximize that for her. I got these gorgeous PAX units from Ikea. They are a beautiful, contemporary, high gloss lacquer. They are incredible. First of all, I didn't have the depth to do a 24 inch unit in this space. So you actually have the option of doing a 12 inch um, unit, which was the perfect fit. The other thing I love about them is the interiors. They're magic. You can actually configure it however you want. They wanted drawers, I gave them drawers. They wanted baskets, I gave them baskets. They wanted pullouts, I gave them pullouts. But you could also do shoe storage or tie storage or anything. The sky's the limit, they are the best invention ever. And then just for that little bit of girly glamour, I changed the hardware out to a really pretty gold. One of my favorite tips, and it actually doesn't cost a dime, is when you're designing a room, make everything symmetrical. I am such a symmetrical girl and I gotta tell you, it's gonna make every space that you're in feel like it's pulled together, it's complete, it's thought of. So obviously the bed had to take center stage. So the symmetry was super easy to achieve here. All I had to get was two great side tables and two great lamps. I'm loving the warm metals, which are actually very hot this year and I use them on the lamp. The gorgeous side tables, which have just that hint of the turquoise and then the gold legs. I have it in the chandelier over the bed. And then again, they are on the hardware on the PAX unit. I love it. This room, believe it or not, was mostly designed by online shopping, which is as surprising to me as it is to you. But I'm, I'm telling you, there are some great places that are coming out now where they've got really high quality goods. They have fire sales, so you can get stuff that you normally wouldn't be able to get. But because it's a fire sale, it's affordable. It takes a lot of sourcing. You have to go through them all the time. But if you're careful and you know what you want, you can score big like we did. So there you have it all my secrets on how to get great style on a very small budget.